Hey guys, so an update on my dehydrator. Um, I liked it to a certain extent. Sometimes I really hate that it doesn't have um, like that little dial that tells you that you could change the temperature or whatever on there. I really don't like that. So I'm thinking of getting another one and giving that one to my sister because remember we had bought that one half and half. It was really cheap. It was like 30 bucks. So we ended up paying $15 each, with, which I'm totally fine with. For the price, it's okay. Um, it works. It just really needs that dial. I think every dehydrator should have it. Anyways, this is what I made. I made this is mango, pineapple, and peach. You guys see that? And you can tell it dry in there. And I already bought some oxygen absorbers that I'm going to put in there. They haven't come in yet. And so, you guys saw the amount that I put in there. Oh, my hair makes me itchy. Um, then I went ahead and made some raisins. And this is how they came out. And this is full to the top. The raisins didn't dry that well. Remember I had shown you guys the raisins that I, I thought they were spoiled I, I went ahead and asked my mom and she said that no they were still good and she went ahead and ate like a whole handful to prove it and so I ended up making them um, they still didn't come out that great um, I made some orange the orange came out really good um, everybody had some this is just one orange by the way just one orange Everybody tried it and everybody liked it. They said it was really good. So I was happy about that. And then I made cranberries. And um, and this is, it was like a lot more than that. But of course they're dry and so they're in there. And so that's cool. Another thing. I don't know if I overdid the, the raisins. And that's why I think they're not good anymore too. Because I tried, I tried rehydrating them in some water and they were really super hard like extremely hard so I don't know if I did something bad there or not um, I'm gonna try it again I usually use these with liquor or some kind of alcohol and I use it to make like bread or some something muffins or something and so I'm gonna try it again I'm out of alcohol <laughs> but I'll try to get some more and I tried eating these um like this hard like and they're really hard so I don't like I don't I think they really need rehydration or maybe I did them too thick these were the frozen fruits that I made and so I don't know if it's something that I'm doing wrong maybe I'm leaving them there for too long I left them probably like 12 hours. I probably left everything like 12 hours. Um, the oranges were the only ones I didn't leave that long. Um, I think I left the oranges maybe like 8 hours. And they came all good. So I'm thinking maybe I'm dehydrating them too much. But because the reason I'm doing that is because when I go in and check the, check on them, um, they're still, um, they're hard, but they're still like, flexible and I thought that they were supposed to be like crunchy type when you dehydrate so maybe it's just something like um that I don't know what I'm doing that I'm you know I'm just trying this out I really don't know what I'm doing I'm just trying this out and so I'm thinking I probably left these on for too long I don't know let me try like show you what I mean like these and the dehydrator gets like really hot so I'm thinking it's a dehydrator. It's not me. So these are crunchy. And they don't taste good. They're hard. So they don't taste good. They're too hard. Anyways. But they taste good. But they're just really hard for your teeth. Anyways. So this is all I made so far. I don't have it stuck on my teeth. I'm going to try the frozen veggies. And I'm only going to try a little bit to see how they come out. And then if they come out okay then I'll do the rest of the batch. But if they don't come out okay, then I'm not going to do it. And I'm either going to try to get another dehydrator, a different one. I really want the Excalibur one. But it, I probably won't get that right now. I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. But 
I'll either try another dehydrator or I just won't use it and I'll just use it for fruit or fresh stuff. Um, because remember, the raisins weren't fresh. I told you they were practically going to go ex I thought they were expired. My mom says no. I still did it. She says she's going to eat them. Whatever. You do it, the lady. Cranberries came out really good. Those were good. And these were frozen. And once they get rehydrated, I'm pretty sure they're going to be good. Because right now I had one in my mouth for a little bit. And it got all soft and it tastes good. <laughs> and it tastes good. I know that's weird. And the oranges taste good like this. They taste really, really good. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Just wanted to show you the stuff I made with my dehydrator. Um, maybe you guys can help me out. And maybe tell me if I'm leaving them there for too long. Like I said, I left them there for like 12 hours. Except for the oranges, I left them there for maybe like 6 to 8 hours. I can't really remember. I should have written it down. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.